Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Uh, hi. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am doing very well, thank you. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, my name is Mehmet Ali. Mehmet Ali, nice to meet you. My Hi. name is Jim. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. you are from Turkey? Yes, I'm from Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a computer engineer. Uh, I'm working in a bank as mm -hmm. IT auditor. And uh, I'm 30 years old and I want to be a pilot. Uh, so I want to improve my English for that reason. I'm mm -hmm. get I, I'm uh, I now I'm in a training for be a pilot. Uh, it will uh, end up in uh, four uh, months, I guess, if everything will be okay. <clears throat> so I will uh, uh, apply uh, some airlines for piloting position. Pilot position. Mm -hmm. So generally, most generally, interviews are in English, and also I have to pass uh, IELTS or TOEFL exams. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have to pass a certain points. Uh, so I want to improve my English for that reasons. Uh, what about okay. you? Uh, I, I I saw and maybe artisan. You know, <clears throat> you are interested in art. I think I uh, uh -huh. got the, the, that kind of uh, you know uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> the first you know uh, imp impression imp uh -huh. impression. Yeah, uh, first as impression. my first impression. Yes, for in my first impression, you are an uh, artisan, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of it, yeah. <laughs> I, it's not my it's not my specialty, but uh, the things that I study art uh, comes into play a lot. Uh, history, <laughs> literature, religions. These art comes into play quite a bit because this is how people communicate. Yeah, people who can't read and write communicate through art. So art is very important. Um, and this is what you yes, went to work on today. About you went to work on this first part. Yeah, the link you sent. Uh, oh. uh, uh, the link, yes. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I can. Uh, the kindness, uh, the title which I remain, which I <coughs> uh, on now. Uh -huh. <coughs> Sorry, I'm really sick. It's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the, uh, as you see, uh, the, in kindness title, describe a person you know who is kind. Who it is, how you know this person, what sort of person he is, and explain why you think uh, they are kind. Okay, hold okay. on, let me get down to that. <clears throat> I have, hold on, you said this is where it said art, kindness. Okay, uh, All right, art, great. Yes, but what uh, uh, yes. I, I did. Uh, some uh, titles with other tutors, ah, you know. Okay. So mm -hmm. yeah, I am not in kindness. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, uh, I I I sh uh, give me ten minutes, uh, ten seconds for preparation. Yeah, take your time. However much time you need. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, my uh, mathematics uh, teacher uh, uh, was a very kind person uh, because his uh, manners uh, during uh, uh, lessons uh, 
and uh, after lessons uh, was very kind uh, uh, and also uh, uh, they can uh, help us uh, for personal problems uh, mm -hmm. uh, besides teaching mathematics uh, also uh, uh, psychologically support uh, high school students uh, and uh, that's uh, that's uh, very uh, he was a very kind person he did uh, that support very well uh, because uh, uh, with the uh, uh, because of his titles and also uh, the, the, all the students uh, loves uh, him because of uh, his kindness uh, and also after graduation uh, we uh, try to not connect uh, not uh, cut our connection uh, because we love him uh, with uh, my high school uh, uh, friend group uh, we visit uh, sometimes uh, his uh, uh, him. I think uh, all of this, uh, him, yes, uh, I think all of uh, that efforts uh, caused uh, by uh, his kindness. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, one thing you can do, um, and I know you're talking off the top of your head, but for the tests, be careful to try to keep your sentences um, clear, yeah. keep one idea yeah. per sentence uh, so they don't kind of run together and run on. Uh, in English, particularly, we use a lot of short sentences. I say generally you want one idea per sentence. Um, yeah. So be careful of that. Uh, be careful of uh, repeating yourself too much especially for the test you know you don't yeah. want uh you don't want to be repeating yourself because they'll kind of count that against you um but and then a phrase you can use in there we like to keep in touch with him yeah keep in touch with him. Mm -hmm. keep in touch yeah that is mm -hmm. for Speaking yeah, I mean, after yeah. the class. Okay, yeah. So use that. Yeah. Idioms are really good in English. They they love their idioms. <laughs> Is what I like to say. Um, yeah, but other than that, very good. Those would be my major notes. I'm going to write these down for you. Watch out for run-on sentences. Watch out for repetition or repeating yourself. Yeah. Uh, those would be the two major things that, and that, and that term, keep in touch. Um, yeah. Those are going to be your major things uh, on that one. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I just, yes. Uh, uh -huh. I think the title was hard for me. Uh huh. Because I couldn't find a person, and it's just you know imaginary person, my uh, ah. high school teacher. So uh, I uh, suffer uh, <laughs> find something to say. <laughs> yeah, okay, we can go on the next topic. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. The language. Describe a uh -huh. language you have learned. You should say what it is when you start learning, how you learn it, uh, what was difficult about it, and why you decide to learn the language. Okay, uh, that's an easy question. I can. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, I would like to uh, talking about uh, uh, English, uh, English language mm -hmm. I have learned. Uh, start to learn English at my primary school years. After uh, that, uh, I uh, went on learning English in uh, high school and university. But uh, my uh, efforts, my efforts uh, 
in accelerated in uh, my uh, working uh, life in my career after graduation from university because of uh, most of the uh, institutions which I applied six uh, good English uh, level and they six some uh, they seek some so, uh, scores from uh, certain English exams so I uh, increased my efforts to learn English and also uh, I uh, I'm going abroad for work uh, meetings sometimes uh, in that kind of meetings uh, to express myself and uh, to uh, reflect uh, my institutions point of view I have uh, be good in English so that's why English is important for me and also as I mentioned I want to be a pilot uh, the aviation language is in English so I have to be master in English because mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, incidents and uh, uh, events and uh, occasions in English, in aviation, at abroad, and uh, in uh, even your hometown, because there are a lot of foreign pilots, uh, so you have to communicate with them in English. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, uh, why uh, English is important for me. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, once again, clear, you want clear breaks in your sentences yeah clear sentence breaks watch out for using and too much because when you use and you are connecting the sentences so if you're saying and it's automatically the next it's you're making all one sentence so watch out for this because you will get a uh, you know, this will be counted against you if your sentences are too long, too like run on sentences. Um, two other things I would tell you to look at as far as that goes, because your idea is there. Your idea is there. It's just getting it out properly. Um, just in general, maybe you should take a minute to take a lesson or two to work on two parts of grammar, prepositions. Mm -hmm. Prepositions because you're using the wrong ones at the wrong times, sometimes unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So prepositions and, uh, oh my goodness, why am I blanking? And conjunctions. Yeah, like uh, and and things like that. So I would I would definitely say those two areas need need some work for the test. Prepositions and conjunctions. Those two parts of speech are definitely going to need some work. Um, and then one, there's only one really glaring pronunciation. Hello. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. I can see. I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Your video just went out, so I had to check. Um, the W sound. Work. Mm -hmm. Work. Went. World. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure yeah. that your yeah that your lips are kind of coming out. I recommend to people, especially Turkish speakers. Yeah. To make a list of words that start with W and practice saying them out loud in front of a mirror. And watch your mouth, watch your lips, make sure they're pursing out, never coming from behind your teeth. Like, uh, to work, make, ran, ran, work, went, went, yeah. went, yeah, I see. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Practice doing that because you're really training your brain to do something different. <laughs> so it's going to take a lot <laughs> yeah. of practice. It's going to take a lot of practice. Yeah. So those are the main things yeah. I think you should work on uh, to help you for the test. Yeah, definitely. Okay.
Thank you. Right. Just five seconds. It was right. very beneficial. Thank you very much.